What's up guys, my name is Brandon and Apple surprised us all today with the release of the first beta of iOS 10.3.3 to register developers and now things get just so much more interesting with this Pangu jailbreak. So we're gonna talk about that jailbreak and everything in just a minute, but we're also gonna go over why this is a surprising release and then also what's new in iOS 10.3.3. So the reason this release is so surprising is because Apple actually hasn't released a point update just before WWDC in at least six years. I only looked back six years before making this video, but it may be the only time ever that Apple has released a point update just before the Worldwide Developers Conference. Now the only exception to that is iOS 8 Point four, which only happened, which was only released because that's when Apple Music launched. But aside from that, I don't think it's ever happened before. So of course the obvious question now is why would Apple do this? And the only logical conclusion I came to is that Apple is still playing the old cat and mouse game with Pangu. Since Pangu showed off this 10.3.1 jailbreak on the iPhone 7, and I also believe that same jailbreak will work for 10.3.2, Apple could be pumping out another release, which is 10.3.3, to quickly close the signing window earlier rather than later. But of course, course, Apple could also be patching up the bugs that Pangu used for this jailbreak, but you know, obviously that type of information won't be made public until at least the 10.3.3 security notes in a month or so, you know, if they even get credited at all for, uh, you know, giving those exploits to Apple. You know, Apple, somebody commented on my last video as well saying, you know, just because Pangu wasn't credited in the security notes doesn't necessarily mean that those bugs that they used for that jailbreak weren't patched. And that is actually true. So Apple could have squashed these bugs that Pangu used as well without us even knowing. We just don't know at this point. But of course they could be releasing 10.3.3 because they found some bugs that could potentially be used by Pengu and they're patching those up in 10.3.3. But of course that's just speculation right now. Of course I'll talk more about this in the jailbreak update video on Thursday or Friday whenever I upload that. But let's take a brief look at iOS 10.3.3 itself. So first off the build number for iOS 10.3.3 beta 1 is 14 g 5028 a. So it's another long one, you know, as expected, since there are going to be multiple betas with this release. As for the changes in 10.3.3, there doesn't seem to be anything visible. Surprise, surprise. Just another release filled with bug fixes and security enhancements. And if you look at the release notes here, you can see that there's really nothing interesting at all on this list. And the known issues section right here has remained the same for months now. So I have the 10.3.3 beta 1 running on my iPhone 7 here, and everything seems to be running fluidly. Uh, you know, everything seems to be just like 10. 10.3.2. I haven't noticed any bugs or anything, and I'm sure the battery life is going to be the exact same as 10.3.2 as well. We may see some minor features in the beta 2 or beta 3, but you know, I doubt there's going to be anything major at all in this release because again, 10.3.3 is most likely the very last release until iOS 11. So anyways, guys, I just wanted to make this quick video to let you guys know that the 10.3.3 beta 1 was released to developers as I always do with these new betas. And again, I'm going to be talking more about the jailbreaking side of things in a video later this week week and then of course on the live stream this Saturday night. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this brief video. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe for a lot of important videos coming soon. So thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you soon.